I've just finished building this ESP32 based display for my e-scooter. It has GPS speed, amps, volts, power and temperatures and I built it all for under $20 which is a great price and it's fully customizable as well. Here's everything that you need to build this project. First of all is the ESP32. This is an Arduino Nano 1 but any ESP32 will work. Next is a display. I like to use these 16 by 2 LCD displays because they're easy to wire up. They look pretty good in sunlight. You can see them quite well and they're cheap. And then last of all is the Nano 7M U-Blocks. This is actually a fake one, uh, but it works just as well. Um, do be careful. Some of these uh, say they're Neo 7Ms, but they're Neo 6Ms, which don't work. And then that's where it plugs into the VESC. And it's got headers, so this all clips together. I used an ESP32 for this project, not an Arduino as I normally do, as Arduino relies on software serial, which is not as good if you have multiple UART devices, where the ESP32 can use hardware serial on basically all of its pins. It's really compatible and it works great if you have yeah, multiple UART devices, since the VSC is UART and the Neo 7M GPS module is also UART. And here you see we have the display working. This is just plugged into my VSC at the moment. I just 3D printed this little case. It's nothing special, but it should do the job. I gave it a quick sand, a prime, and now I'm going to throw some paint on it. I made this little metal PCB board that clips everything together just to make it a bit easier to take apart, especially for testing. But I will put up a schematic now that shows everything that you need to know when soldering up your own one. The wiring diagram is nice and simple for this project. From the VSC, we're just getting power, ground, and TX and RX for the UART. We have power and ground and TX and RX for the UART again going to the GPS. And then finally, we just use IC squared communication going to the LCD. Uh, these three modules is all you need for this. Here's a cost breakdown. I bought all my bits off AliExpress. In total, I think I paid around 26 New Zealand dollars, which is like 15 US dollars. So it's about the same price as you'd pay for a budget solution off AliExpress, but it's got a lot more capabilities. Using GPS speed means that you don't have to fiddle around with different gear ratios and figure out how fast you're going. It's also a lot more accurate. If you're like me and like to change tire size, sprocket size, then that would adjust the speed as well. So not having to worry about that is always a good thing. I'll leave my code down below in a GitHub repository so anyone can go and use it. I'm not going to break it down, but it's all relatively self-explanatory. I'll leave comments in there to help. If you do have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try answer it. A couple things to note is how I set up the interrupt so I don't get multiple presses on one button press, as well as the fact that because I use a Arduino Nano ESP32, my pins will be different than the stand ESP32. Here's what the final product looks like. It has voltage, amps, speed, and watts there. There we got max watt, max speed. It's also got motor temperature and ESC temperature, as well as distance down the bottom there. This is everything I want from a display, and it works great for me. It's hard to believe that such a cheap alternative to bought units can offer so much versatility. It's more customizable. It's cheap. I don't think I'll be going back to using OEM or purchased displays anymore with this being an option. You can also get more information from both the Neo 7M and the VSC into the ESP32 if you want.